Greenstein. Shannon checks, and here comes Barry firing off 14,000. I'm all in. All in. All Shannon in. moves all in. And Barry's pot committed. Mm, I call. He calls, though not very convincingly. Yeah, pretty sheepish. You talk about your upsets. Barry and Greenstein's Shannon call Jackson means that Shannon out. Elizabeth has defeated Barry Greenstein. Shocker. She moves into the quarterfinals. Shannon Elizabeth is the story of the tournament. Well, kudos to her. This young lady set the trap when she flopped the boat, and the cards pushed Barry right into it. Welcome back to the National Heads Up Poker Championship. I'm here with Shannon Elizabeth. Shannon, what an amazing victory. Oh my God. You beat Barry Greenstein, one of the top poker players in the world. And there are a lot of amateurs out there who want to know, how'd you do it? Um, gosh, I don't know. I, I waited for my hands. I, if I wasn't sure, I didn't want to fight for something that I didn't know I had. I waited for the right moments. I wasn't going to try to to do too much bluffing if I, you know, if I didn't have it, because I know if I put a bet out there and he comes over the top, I'd have to lay it down, and I didn't want to just be giving him chips. So I just tried to play pretty straightforward and conservative and think about what he had, and that last hand, I just got very lucky he was getting short stacked. This is the furthest that an amateur has gotten in the Heads Up tournament. How do you keep going from now? You know, I, I'm doing this new thing where it's just the law of attraction and I'm trying to attract good things and, and imagine great cards and, and have confidence in myself. Yeah. So, you know, I think it's the confidence and knowing that you can do it yeah. that is really what it's all about, not just in this, but in all of life. So, Well, good luck in the next round. Thank you so much. Well, Paul Wasica has to be feeling confident with nearly a 3-1 to chip lead over T.J. Cloutier. Blinds up to 1-2,000 in 2, here, and Queens for Wasica. Paul's been somewhat of a card rack in this match, and to the contrary, T.J. has just not had anything. T.J. has a pair of fours, moves all in, a quick call by Wasica. I knew what he had. Look at T.J.'s body language. He's just sick of playing this kid. TJ knows he's in pretty big trouble here. And the flop, ace, seven, ace. ace. Two outs twice for TJ, eight percenter. TJ needs a four to stay alive. Turns a nine to diamonds. Down to five percent. Only a four will save Cloutier. Jack of spades on the river. TJ Cloutier has been eliminated by Paul Wasica. Wasika moves into the quarterfinals. Couldn't do nothing with those cards. We take you now back to our feature table as Umberto Brennis and Huck Seed continue their match. Deuces for Huck. Huck raises to 6,000. 6,000. Hey. Turn the Ace 10 of diamonds for Brennis. Good hand. Shark. Come on, Shark. He's going to throw that away. Wow, that is inexplicable. No, he raised two times. No. Two in a row, but I saw I saw you. No show now. Second one, I can't show every time. Even if you see Huck's cards, you got to call with Ace-10. Can't explain that, Matt. We check back in with reigning heads-up champ Ted Forrest, who has the lead over Nam Lee. Lee squeezes out a 9-4. And he raises to 10,000 here. Yikes, don't like this play, Matt. I know it's Nam's game to put pressure on the pot, and this is a standard raise, but why look at your cards if you're gonna pop it when you see 9-4? You don't gotta play every hand. Forrest calls with Jack-10 and the flop. Lee pairs his 9, Forrest pairs his 10. Good lead by Ted. Top pair straight draw. Wants to find out where Nam is at. Ted's $8,000 bet is called. And the turns and ace of spades. Ted checks. Bit of a scare card. Ted still has the straight draw and top pair. He's now picked up a spade draw. Nam's reaching. Four is checked, and now Nam bets 8,000. You know, if Nam is gonna bother to bet here, he should just push it all in. 8K into a 36K pot isn't gonna cut it. He gets a call, and that river card brings the flush for Ted Forrest. 
check. It's pretty good shutdown here from Ted. Lee checks and Ted Forrest takes down the pot. And by doing so, the reigning champ takes a chip lead in this match of nearly three to one. Welcome back to Caesars Palace Las Vegas and the National Heads Up Poker Championship. Sweet 16 action inside the poker room. Ted Forrest versus Nam Lee. And suited 10-5 for the reigning champ. He calls 2,000. Queen four off suit for Nam Lee. And Nam checks. The flop. All hearts, ace, tray, king, and a flush for Ted Forrest. Well, Nam Lee has a draw to the nut flush. He's gonna lead out and try to win it right here. Forrest calls the 5,000. Turns the seven of spades. Nam checks. And now Forrest bets 5,000. Nam calls. Nam's getting a great price with the draw to the nuts. River, no help for Nam Lee, a deuce of diamonds. So he checks. And Forrest now bets 15,000. No way for Nam to call. Missed his flush and more chips headed Forrest's way. Ted Forrest establishing a big chip lead as the defending heads up champion. He knows firsthand that repeating the title presents a formidable challenge. Well, this heads up championship is a very uh, important tournament uh, for the players. There are no easy matches. Five of clubs and Ted Forrest survives Durax pocket aces. Every player is a tough draw. Ted Forrest eliminates Sam Farha. What a wild match. Well, every time you win a match, it's a real good feeling. A four of clubs. The champ is here. Ted Forrest moves on. And to just put it all together uh, and, and win six in a row, it's, it's a great feeling. Ted Forrest is the national heads up poker champion. Well, Ted is on the cusp of getting himself one step closer to hoisting the hardware for a second straight year. Nomley has only six big blinds left. Pocket nines for Forrest here and he goes all in. That'll help the cause. Is Nam Lee going to choose this spot to make perhaps his last stand with Queen 7? She doesn't have a lot of choices. One last count, and yes, he calls the all in. I don't have a good hand. I have Almost pretty good hand. Chips. You have a pair? Ted's in pretty good shape to and advance with look. pocket 9. Shows a pair of nines. And one over card for Nam Lee. Queen Nam seven Lee's two. tournament Three life seven. on the line. Card Player Magazine percentages tell you that Ted Forrest is a sizable favorite here. And the flop. Oh, there's one queen right in the door and a second. Trip queens on the flop for Nam Lee. It'll be safe for Nam Lee to return to his seat 91% of the time in this spot. He's just checking that to make sure he, what he sees is right. Jack of diamonds on the turn. Things just got a little bit more interesting. Ted can win with a nine or a 10 on the end. It's a king of diamonds on the river. Nam Lee doubles up to survive. Nam's up to 50,000 in chips. Forrest still has a two to one chip lead. I can't just let you run me over. 24 2. Well, let's face it, he got some help with the cards there. Yeah, not all skill, a little bit of luck involved, that's for sure. So after a big pot for Nam. Suited King Six for him here. He moves all in. Well, Nam's trying to build Ace momentum. Call. Ace Queen and a quick Ace call queen. from Forrest. Ace Queen. Huh? Ace Queen. You got Ace and Jack. Let's see him. I got a King Man. Yeah. Ace Queen for Ted Forrest. King Six. Back to back. For Nam Lee. Elimination Ace hands for Nam for Lee. I got a gamble Stand with Ted. Stand up together. I got a gamble with Ted. And a pretty good chip lead. And the flop. Oh, look at this. Forrest pairs his queen, but Lee pairs his king. Yeah, Forrest can hit an ace, queen, or ten to win this pot. And you know, Matt, I understand what Nam was trying to do pre-flop. He wants to put pressure on the pots, build some momentum. But why not limp and see a few hands? Gambling is the kind of thing you do when you're outclassed. Nam bird after the five of hearts on the turn. And the river, and eight of diamonds, and Nam Lee has now taken the lead in this match. Boy, Ted Forrest has just taken two crushing blows to his stack. 